Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We are still on engineering science and four and today we will be doing the second exercise based on relative velocity, relative velocity under kinematics. My name is Tepo. Please subscribe to my channel to make sure you keep on receiving videos like this. Click that notification button so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So the question that we are doing today is taken from a question paper that was written on 1 August 2019. And it reads as follows. The velocity of object P at 120 km per hour is while that of object Q relative to P at 234.307 km per hour. West 33.671 to the north. The direction of object Q at not 30 degrees to the west. And then the question they say, determine the velocity of object Q. So this is the information that we are given. In this question, they gave us everything. The trick in this question is to get the structure right. They gave us velocity P and they say it is to the west. And this 120, this is P. And then they also gave us velocity q. They they didn't give they did they didn't give us the the magnitude of velocity p, but they gave us the, its direction. So let's write our compass school work never end. They said it is not. It's coming from the north. It's coming from the north, and then they say thirty going to the west, which means it will be like this, and then this thirty will be here. So we write our um, our Q. This is Q. We know that this is 30 and this is 90. So this angle will be 120. And then they gave us the relative velocity. They say it is west, coming from the west, 33.671. And then it will be here. The 33 will be something like this. And then we can tell that this relative velocity will be here and then the 30.671 will be here we are given the magnitude of this relative velocity kilometers per hour we are also given 120 kilometers per hour for the velocity of p kilometers per hour kilometers per hour and then they say we must calculate for this velocity. So it is clear from this point that the angle, th this structure is not a right angle triangle. And then we know that when we want, an, when we want information from a, a triangle that is not a right angle triangle, it's either we use a cosine rule or we use a sine rule. So in this question, the simplest rule that we can use is sine rule which says, let's say it's A, it's uh, B, it's C, which says this is our sine rule, it's sine A divided by a small a, Divide is equal to sine B, sine B divided by a small b, it's equal to sine C divided by a small c. So this is our sine rule. We will use our sign rule here to get the value of p because we now have the angle corresponding to our q we also have the information of one side the the, the full information of one side which is th this angle corresponding to this line which we know its magnitude that's where we are, that that's why that's what that is what permits us to use the sign rule so we say sign A divided by A is equal to sine B divided by B. And then, since this is A, our Q will say it's our small a. And this, since it's B, this, our relative velocity will say it's a small b. And then, we are looking for the small a, which is Q. We solve, we make it the subject to the formula. Small a, we will say, and then, uh, 
I will say sine a divided by times uh, divided by sine b, if I'm not mistaken. And then we substitute sine a, our a, this is a, 3, 3.67, 6 what? 671 times our small p our small p this is the value of our small p which will which is 234.307 divided by sine p our sine p the angle of p our sine p is 120 and then i got that my answer is 150 my answer is one. 50 kilometers per hour and then we are done that is the value of q and then we are done with this question so the trick is here you must get the your structure right or else it's disaster so one thing another thing that you have to remember is our cosine rule and then this is our cosine rule it says a square plus b sorry a square is equals to b square plus c square uh, minus 2 a b cos a that's b c cos a cos a so this is our cos rule and then we know that we use our cost rule if we have two sides two two sides and the angle of the side that you are looking for if this is our triangle if for a triangle if we we have if we were looking for this side and we have its angle let's say it's theta and we also have this and this that's where we can use our cosine rule so keep in mind the sine rule and cosine rule because um, most many questions they can come and require you to use the sign and cos the sign rule and cosine rule so that is basically the end of our lesson today um hope this lesson will be of help to you my name is Tepo from me to you i will see you on the next lesson ciao